All right, here we go. Big Daddy Finn, day 967 at the park. So today was just a bad day. That's all I'm going to say. It's a bad freaking day. But uh, being who I am, I'm not going to sit there and dwell on that stuff. So I was looking forward to going out. And now here I am. It's great weather. Um, what is it? I ate some dried mushrooms today. So Michelle, for my birthday, she gave me these like freeze dried mushrooms. I can't even explain it. They're basically like, you know, like people eat potato chips and stuff like that, right? These are basically mushroom trip chips. Not trips. It's not those type of mushrooms. But it, it, they taste really good. And so I ate some of those. Drank a lot of water. And uh, just with everything that was going on, I'm just not hungry. You know? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I'm out of that stage where it's like, you know, you comfort food. It's like, oh, get a Tommy chili cheeseburger or something, you know? But no, no. This is how crazy it is. A Coca-Cola doesn't even sound good right now. You know, usually it's like, oh, wow, Coke makes you feel good, right? Nope. But it's okay because I still have my family. Still my job, still my health, and I can walk around, right? I have a place to live, friends and family who love me, right? And uh, uh, yeah, that's that. So that's why today I figure, you know what? I'm just gonna list off all the good things that happened to me today. Um, I woke up early. I woke up insanely early, actually. I woke up at 4.30. And I was happy to be alive and got up. This stuff, you know what's funny, though, about waking up so early? I just sit there. Okay. Time just inches when it's, like, later in the day, right? Let's say I go home after this, right? And I'm sitting either by my computer, on my desk, on the couch. And then time is just, like slowly going by, right? <clears throat> so, you know, it's payday today too, right? So last night, you know, I'm waiting till 11 o'clock for it to just register so you can just see it and be happy about it, right? And then so that 10.58 to 11 o'clock was two of the longest minutes. You're like, oh my gosh, right? And what happens, you know, you're like, okay, whatever. But anyways, today, when it's 4.30, I got up, right? I figure, okay, I got to get ready for stuff and you know, put my clothes on and then, you know, do this stuff for, uh, get ready for class, right? And then, uh, uh, I just sat there. Next thing you know, it's 6.30. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did time go? Right? So then I'm just sitting there staring at nothing, okay? All of a sudden it's 7, and I'm thinking, gosh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Nope, because it's 7.20 already. And then all of a sudden, 7.40, I go, oh man kids are going to start coming in, whatever. And then so, yes. Non-stop. But you know what I'm proud of? That I'm able to go non-stop all the day. Like right now, it's I don't know. 5.30. But, uh, uh, yeah, tonight I'm going to be tired AF, right? And then so, I'm going to go to sleep and do the same thing tomorrow. So that's one thing good that happened today. Uh, another good thing. I, uh, let's see. When my sound was down in one of my classes and Harold hooked me up. Hey, I'm thankful that Harold, Harold was able to come and hook me up. And B, I was able to still teach my class without focusing on somebody's control on your computer while that was going on. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, I didn't wake up with any pains this morning. I'm just trying to just come up with the different stuff, you know, like the whole pain stuff. Eh. No food coma and stuff. 
Probably because I didn't even really eat anything, you know. Uh, thankful it's another day of living, right? Uh, oh, it's a good day because I don't have to help Stu move anymore. All the stuff's over there. But then again, maybe there's too much stuff over there, so I got to take some of their stuff. Like the, the tree. Long story. <clears throat> oh. Another good thing is, yesterday, like in the middle of the day, right, I got this cough. It was one of the craziest coughs. I mean, I'm just hacking it up, right? And then so, it was right, actually it was right before I went to go to uh, Stu's to fix the stuff, right? Then, uh, uh, yeah, I thought I was going to die. Jose, he Zoom called me. And I'm sitting there, he's like, oh, do you have coronavirus? It's like, no, I don't have it. Shut up, shut up, right? Ah, 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 right? But then uh, I'm perfectly fine now. Nothing hurts there. Um, my blood pressure medicine prescription, it's not supposed to, like I still have a couple more pills, but the next one's supposed to come on the 7th, right? But then the other half of my, the water pills, those ones, uh, they're ready for pickup. So that's good. I mean, I didn't run out of them yet, but it's good that I'm getting them. So for those of you who don't know, if you have high blood pressure, you need to take, uh, some people have to take uh, water pills where it like removes the water from your body. Mine's called, called uh, hydroxychlorothiazide or something like that, right? And uh, that one just makes you pee a lot. So when you do that, it removes all the water pressure from around your blood veins and you get lower blood pressure. So that's that. Um, what else could happen today? Well, I had a pretty successful class today, I thought, you know. A lot of people are engaged and uh, pretty entertaining and it was a good segue for uh, what we're going to do next. So that's a good thing. Um, I got my, I got my postcard from the 24-hour fitness lawyers. They said, oh, if you're going to 24-hour fitness for there, then send us your information. And I'm not gonna do that. Because you know what? When I stopped 24-hour fitness, then I actually got my money back. So it's like, I'm not gonna double. Well, the thing is, you, you go to those class action suits anyway. They don't, uh, you don't get anything. <clears throat> But yeah, when, when we stopped, when we stopped the thing, I told them to stop my monthly membership and they actually did. So I'm like, oh wow, awesome. It's like, yeah, I'll resume when it happens again. Cause I love me some 24 hour fitness. Don't get me wrong. But it's just that, you know, when they opened up again, they said, oh, we're going to be open from five in the morning to nine at night. And you can go for two hours. Two hours or one hour? It was something crazy. I'm like, oh man. They should call it nine to five fitness. Five to nine fitness. What is that? 14, 18 hour fitness. Is it 18 hours? Sixteen hour fitness, that's what it is. So I don't know. Alright. So you know, when you when you do these kind of things, it's like it's 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 really awesome to be able to just clear your head out, not think about stuff. And so uh, that's that. And you know, when I look around, I'm not saying this to be cheesy, but when I see everybody who's out there, they're taking care of the families, playing on the playground, riding their bikes, and, you know, razor scooters, 
people still buy those. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm really thankful that it's normal. It's as normal as we're going to get right now, right? And uh, at least for these people who are here, it's not, or not, not it, uh, uh, this is our sense of normalcy right now. Go to school, teach the kids. I mean, yeah, you know what? People will complain about the, they'll complain about the whole stuff, the uh, online learning and what can you do, right? It's the same thing everybody's doing everywhere, right? But, uh, yeah, this is my normal for 967 days. Oh, just so you know, if you're wondering how many days we're in the pandemic, uh, my first day on the pandemic was 801. So if you want to know how many days in the pandemic, 167 days. So yeah, I divide that by 30. It's like five and something months. Five months and some change. Okay. All right, there you go. Day 969 in the books. So, uh, you know, I feel refreshed. I just had a talk with one of my buddies too. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the whole thing about, you know, when you have a bad day. You have to really evaluate. Did you have more bad days than good days? Right? And for me, I can honestly say I had more good days than bad days. So I think the good days are winning. So, you know, I know all these days that I go like, hey, you know, today's day 843. And oh, yeah, today was an awesome day. Whatever. Right? <laughs> Whatever. You know, today I can honestly say it was a bad day. But. Uh, there's always tomorrow, right? Well, maybe not always, okay, it's figure of speech, right? But, um, but you know, you just got to just, just, just think about what you had, okay? Yeah, the whole thing about reminiscing and stuff like that yesterday, I, I get it, right? But, um, you know, I think no matter, that's why I think the memories of the good stuff is always really good. And then the, the 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 knowledge of what's to come, the future, that's that's also awesome too. So the actual day that we're living in, yeah, it's gonna be a memory. Everything that happened today, memory, right? And then so you know, it's up to me to change my destiny tomorrow. So that's why, even though it started a bad day, I think it's a good day. Big Daddy Shin, day 967. If I could exercise 967 days in a row, you could exercise 967 days in a row. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Bad to good.